Hi, I'm Trixie. Today I'm just going to do a little quickie Ask Trixie episode where I answer one very special question. But first, oh, I have something I have to show you. I got a new fan art. This is from Beth. Oh, check this out. I love this so much. Oh, isn't that amazing? It's all sparkly. It's got me on there. My little speech bubble says, Hi, I'm Trixie. Ask me anything. Oh, I just love this. She did such a great job on this. Get a good shot of it here. Now, of course, Beth, this is going to go up on my wall. So you'll be seeing this in the background in the other videos. So, oh, this is so amazing. Thank you so much for this put it somewhere safe here till the end of the video. There we go. So, I recently got a question on my Facebook that I would like to answer here today. Something different, I'm usually reading off a sheet of paper, right? Well, this one I wrote in my very special journal that Bubbles got me for my birthday. It says, what would derpy hooves do? Oh, I don't know what would Derpy Hooves do. She'd probably just be like, I just don't know what went wrong. Because that's what she said. She's so lovable, isn't she? Anyway, the question was from Natalie. Natalie asks, Hey Trixie, I'm getting a dog on Saturday. What should I name it? Oh, there's so many options here. So I wrote down a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to go through a whole bunch. You just pick one out of there. Hopefully there's one that appeals to you. So, <clears throat> I came up with this. Twinkles, or uh, Sprinkles, or Tinkles, if it's not, you know, potty trained yet. Brutus. Especially if it's really small. I love those like ironic dog names where it's like a little teeny puppy dog but you name it something real nasty like Brutus. Now if it is a big dog you might want to go with one of those tough names. So you might want like Clubber or Brocco or Strenthenius. Now what if it is a small dog, like a real tiny dog? You'll want a light and airy name. Something like Sprightly or Flick or Misty. Or maybe you might want to go for like a person's name, like Ashford, or Petey, or Cheech. What about Stinky? I mean, let's be honest, they're gonna be at one point or another. Perhaps you go in the pop culture route. You might want to go with Grover, or Homestar, or Silent Bob. Now what if it's a real hairy dog? You might want to go with Scruff, or Fluff, or Tangles. Now what's the dog's personality like? Is it a nice dog or is it a mean nasty dog? Because if it's a mean nasty dog, you might want to go with a name like Stitch or Mangle or Lawsuit. Now is it a smart dog or is it one of those dogs, and let's be honest, we've all had them, that's lovable but they're kind of they're not that bright. Like you look in their eyes and it's like the lights are on but there's no one home. I know I've had dogs like that. So if you have a dog that's kind of goofy in the head, it's not too bright, you might want to name it Gooba or Doofy or, oh, you could name it Derpy. Oh, you could name your dog Derpy. Now, how old is the dog? Is it a puppy or is it like an older dog? There's so many things you can name like an old dog. You could call it Elmer or Buster or Jasper. Now, if it is a young dog, just name it Baby. I mean, come on, no matter what you name it, you're just going to end up calling it Baby anyway. And finally, you might be one of those people that likes to name all your pets after rock stars. So here's just a few suggestions here. You could do Daltrey or Gilmore, or McCartney, or a Zappa, or Prince, or Nesmith, or Ozzy, or Village People Cowboy. Actually, that one's kind of wordy. That one's kind of wordy. Okay, so, if anyone was looking for help in naming their dog, I hope I was able to provide that help. I have been Trixie. If you have a question for Trixie, which is myself, leave it in the comments down below. I also have a Facebook and an Instagram. I'll leave the links down in the description down there. And, oh, hold on. I want to hold this while I sign off. <clears throat> you all have a good day.